Sun in Libra. Now, Libra is the sign, of course, famously, there's the iconography of balance, right? The scales. And how Libras go about doing this as an air sign is considering ideas, taking in new information, considering different perspectives. Now, this is also the sign ruled by Venus, but what Socrates called celestial Aphrodite. So this is about looking at higher forms of beauty, not necessarily just in the immediacy, but this has to do with as part of the life path, as part of finding your core and your center in this life is to come to define beauty for yourself and to evolve your understanding of beauty beyond the superficial so that you see beauty, like you literally see beauty in shapes, in forms, in ideas, and of course in people as well. It's about moving beyond the superficial and sort of the most immediate reaction and considering all the angles, everything that not only a person brings, but an idea brings, uh, a concept brings, a building br brings even, all the different ways in which a moment, a thing, a person, a situation speaks to something that is beautiful. Now, as I said, this is an air sign, so there's a strong sense of needing to intellectualize and consider different ideas. And Libras really find this core when they are in one-on-one -on -one exchanges. So even if they're in a crowded room, if they can find you and uh, just talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, this is when the best of them is able to come forward just a little bit more as well. What I have also found with Libras, I got to say that usually people uh, with sun in Libra, there is a certain beauty there, certainly, and uh, especially in the face, there tends to be sort of a, whether you want to call it the characteristics, the lining. It isn't so much that it is uh, exceptionally like beautiful because it's different, but there is something just very classic, very beautiful in the face, something that they emit that makes people sort of have a certain recognition of this beauty. And of course, as they come to appreciate their own uh, understanding of beauty more broadly, they're able to exemplify that energy that much more within themselves as well. Sun and Libra folks really come to a more empowered understanding of themselves when they align themselves with others, when they trust other people as well. And as I said, when they share in those one-on-one -on -one situations, that's when they really uncover their process. And that's when they really allow themselves the freedom to consider what these different ideas just might be for them. And in the process, come to find a sense of their own self and their own power. It comes through the definition of beauty that they're able to find strength and live according to that definition. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until we connect again, take care. Thank you for watching. This lesson is part of Synchronicity University. You can go online at synchronicityuniversity.com or click on your screen if you're on YouTube right now to access even more video lessons, to access horoscopes, interviews with some of the most amazing astrologers in the world, and so much more.